We are saying goodbye tonight to my friend and partner of more than a decade here at Channel 7. And while so many of you have sent in emails and letters saying, oh no, stay a while longer. After watching this story about this husband, father, grandfather and son, you'll likely understand he has a lot more to do well beyond the news business. Stephen Roy Clark. He's been married to his beloved wife, Loren, for more than 30 years. He and his wife have two beautiful daughters, Sophie and Hillary, who've grown up with their dad on TV. At the start, his wife, Loren, had no idea what kind of ride this television business would take them on. From Colorado to San Diego to New York, back to Colorado, then to Michigan, the only real home he's known. Stephen grew up in a military family with a two-star Air Force general as a dad. Our children were able to go through middle school and high school, being at the same school, and really just making Detroit home. And through it all, Loren has been Stephen's backbone. When his job in New York came to an end, Loren and Stephen decided to spend six months on a road trip with their daughters. But you learned a lot about yourself and your children. Stephen also... talked about it on the Oprah Winfrey show right before he came here to Seven. But during this whole adventure, I started connecting for the first time ever with these little kids that were my daughters. He realized with, that he could focus on the family suddenly. Like we were here, the job comes and goes, but we, the family, were here. But their bond is so much deeper. Stephen lost his mom to cancer last year, and they're both devoted to keeping their granddaughter Scarlett's hope for the future alive. She was born with spinal muscular atrophy. It, it hit me like a ton of bricks because here's suddenly this, this little thing, this little child who is so absolutely perfect is facing this world that I don't know anything about. I sat there for two weeks every night and I cried. I did, I cried. Together, they created Scarlet Smile, a nonprofit to raise money and awareness for SMA. When Scarlet was diagnosed, they told her to take her home and love her. And I mean, we thought, I mean, it was day by day. Stephen also fought for the release of an experimental drug called Spinraza for kids with SMA like Scarlett. The in the last hour approved the first drug to treat the devastating genetic disease, spinal muscular atrophy. It's the greatest Christmas gift my family could have received. It was the only time I saw Stephen nearly lose it on the air. That drug has given them renewed hope. Scarlett can do things they never dreamed possible. Me and Papa will hang out all the time. It's given this couple, who started on a career journey together, a new reason to live, a new reason to hope, and a new reason to keep reaching for the impossible. I am so proud of you. Sending all my love from Copenhagen. Dad, we just want to say happy retirement. Happy retirement. We love you. <laughs> we love you. Wow. Now, I was trying to kiss my mom. <laughs> <laughs> you were trying to kiss your mom. So, Stephen, you yeah. know we're going to miss you here, but you know what? That on the other side of you is the most important thing I know in your life. Well, thank you. I, I keep thinking of the line from Wizard of Oz when Dorothy was talking to the Tin Man. Said, I'm going to miss you most of all. Aww. And it really, uh, you've been a joy to work with, uh, consummate professional, and I'm going to miss that. I'm going to miss you too, Stephen, as, as my partner and, you know, a leader in our newsroom here on this anchor desk. Mm. But, but again, I totally understand and we wish you all the best in your next journey. Well, I'm so glad you're going to get to spend a lot of time I know, with this how, how lady can you blame right you with here. This here? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, I've got to say, uh, over all the years, um, you know, she didn't ask for this. She didn't sign up for this. Uh, and she's been great. You know, every time I've had to make that move or felt I had to make that move to, to, to move on and to eventually reach where we are here, um, she just did it. You know, 100% support. She never said, I'm not doing it. I don't want to do it. Why are we doing it? Okay, in February, every February, she wants to know why we left San Diego. But she usually <laughs> comes around by about May. She's good. Well, you know, it's, sometimes wives don't hear those types of stories. You know, because you're constantly working and yeah. she's holding it down at, at home. But Won't she hold I it know down to I would always hear the stories. So it, yeah. it's, it's just a beautiful yeah. thing. And then you've yeah. got your beautiful daughter, Hillary, here, and that star in your life, little Miss Scarlett. And, and to Hillary, I'll say, I mean, uh, thank you for allowing me to make you a, a, a character in my life story. And you didn't ask for that. From the time they were little kids, I just started putting them on television. People got to know you before you knew that wasn't normal. And, uh, and you held up great under that scrutiny, so I thank you for that. 
And, and I want to say one other thing, because I know you and Lorraine have fought so hard, not f only for Scarlet Smile, but also you're building a mm -hmm. playground. Uh, but you got some news today about Spinraza. Well, we're I'm still waiting for the official, I, I don't have the official word yet on it, but what we're <laughs> aiming for, and I can, I can uh, truly tell you this, is that uh, Spinraz is a drug for this spinal muscular atrophy that Scarlet is on. It's a very expensive drug. And that's um, why she's sitting up right here. that's why she can sit up here right now. The state originally had not decided to cover um, in, in its Medicaid program uh, children like her. They were going to cover the babies who were born with it, which they need to do, but anybody kind of beyond that was not going to get covered. Uh, we thought that was wrong because at that time she was on the drug courtesy of the drug company who's doing that for every patient across the, the country getting them on the drug. Uh, and, and it was working. So we just needed to show the, the, the Medicaid people mm -hmm. in Michigan that it was working. They've seen it and we believe because of, of her, they're going to officially change that policy. Mm -hmm. And pretty much all children will get that drug in Michigan, which is important because private insurers kind of go that way too. Which is amazing. So this family has been busy, not only working for Scarlett, but so many other children. We're I, gonna miss you I, here I, at Channel 7, I need Scarlett to give me a final word. What do you wanna say, Scarlett? Um, hello. hello. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. And love you, Papa, I bet. Oh, well, yeah. thank you very much, Caroline. I want to thank you, the people Papa? of Detroit for letting me be part of the biggest story in the history of, of uh, comebacks. I mean, Detroit has been a great story, and I've got this business to tell stories. That's the, the story I want to end on. He's not done yet. He's going to be back on Action News at 11. <laughs> We're going to do World News Tonight with David Muir coming up next, and be sure to join us right back here for 7 Action News at 7. We're going to give him a break on that show, but he will be back at 11. Good night, everybody.